Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. So following yesterday's video, where I did a video on Dillian White versus Deontay Wilder should be next, according to Eddie Hearn, after the WBC have offered Dillian White the interim title, the mandatory position, should he be successful over Oscar Rivas at the O2 Arena in London on July the 20th. Now that part's all fine, well and dandy, of course. He wants to be the mandatory. He's been number one for coming up to 600 days in only about a week or, week or so's time. He'll be 600 days as number one. Now, as we know with WBC, they do like to give Wilder pardons and exemptions and all kinds of things where he doesn't have to fight mandatories. In four and a half years as champion, he's only fought two mandatories, which is absolutely disgusting. It's way out of the rules of the WBC. With WBC, you have to have a mandatory obligation fulfilled every 12 to 18 months. So, Four and a half years, two mandatories is disgusting. So the whole point within that video there, um, I mentioned about the fact that if Wilder is not next for Dillian White, in other words, if they keep making him wait, even though, he, though he'll be mandatory, Eddie Hearn has confirmed that there will be serious ramifications for the WBC, as in legal action. And this was brought up because Wilder's next three fights are already penciled in. Lewis Ortiz in September, then Tyson Fury, then a Tyson Fury rematch. We know about the rematch. Well, I mentioned this to you guys a long time ago, but over the last couple of days, Bob Arum confirmed that it will be a trilogy, as in there'll be two more fights for Wilder and Fury. So that'll be the next three fights Wilder is ta taken up for. That will be how long? Well, 18 months to complete thereabouts, right? So 18 months, how many days is that? What, there or thereabouts, another 500 days. Add to the fact that Dillian White's already been number one for coming up 600 days. So you're talking well over a thousand days as number one with no world title shot. So this is one of the reasons why there'll be legal ramifications. And this was a talking point for a lot of you guys, hence this video here. Why would they possibly be suing the WBC? Are they within their rights to sue the WBC? Now, if you guys look back on the history of boxing, um, I challenge each and every one of you, if you can, to go back and look at how many days anybody has ever been the number one, not just within WBC, but any organization for 600 days, never mind a thousand days, but for 600 days and not got a world title shot within that sanctioned body, i.e. for this one, the WBC. Uh, and I'll tell you when, never. It's never happened. So why is it that Dean White hasn't got a world title shot? Why have other people come in who are ranked below him got a world title shot? Dominic Brazil was ranked number four. He was the mandatory. He shouldn't have been the mandatory. But he got bumped in to be fighting Wilder next, ahead of Dean White. Luis Ortiz got a world title shot ahead of Dean White. Tyson Fury got a world title shot ahead of Dean White. In addition to that, they ordered a rematch between Wilder and Fury. And they even upped the percentage from the usual 30% to the challenger to giving Tyson Fury 40%. Tyson Fury pulled himself out, but yet he's allowed to, after Tom Schwartz, he's allowed to jump in again with Wilder ahead of Dillian White. So this is one of the reasons why they will sue the, the the WBC, if he doesn't get the world title shot. It's not about him being mandatory and then wait another year or 18 months. That's not good enough. If you can order Tyson Fury, who wasn't mandatory, a world title shot, then you can order it for me. This would be, be what Dean White's saying. In addition to the fact, over 600 days currently, how long more is it going to be? We don't know. This has never happened before. So why aren't you giving me a world title shot? In addition, um, Deontay Wilder did send Dean White a personal DM and said, if I want to freeze you out for the next two years, I will do that. And the WBC did nothing about it. As I said before, this isn't about whether or not you feel Dillian White beats, loses, draws with Wilder, however the fight goes. It, this isn't about that. This is about the fact he's earned that title shot. What has Luis Ortiz done to deserve one title shot, let alone two title shots? He lost to Wilder by stoppage. Yeah, there were some controversial moments, but ultimately he did lose to Luis Ortiz. Um, sorry, Luis Ortiz lost to Wilder only a year or so ago. 
Since then, he's had three fights against gatekeepers. And what, and what, now he gets a world title shot ahead of Dillian White. How does that make sense? Tyson Fury got a draw with Wilder. Let's be honest, should he have got a world title fight with Wilder anyway? It's debatable, that's for sure. He was a unified heavyweight champion when he beat Klitschko, but he never defended those titles and he wasn't ranked within the WBC. He was out for two and a half to three years, come back for two guys, to be honest, where, where I could probably beat him and gets a world title shot with Wilder, gets a draw. It's a gift draw in Wilder's favour because Tyson Fury won that fight, according to most people in boxing. And then they order that rematch again. Tyson Fury did pull himself out. But then he's allowed back in again. Makes no sense. Adam Kalnaki, let's talk about Adam Kalnaki, could be on the list as well for Deontay Wilder. Adam Kalnaki's team mentioned this. Adam Kalnaki, what's he done in comparison to Dillian White? Dillian White has consistently fought top 10 WBC ranked opponents. Go back to Robert Hellenius. He was ranked up there. Lucas Brown, former world champion, undefeated. He was also ranked up there. Last fight with Derek Chisora. He was ranked up there. In fact, both times he was ranked up there. Joseph Parker. He was ranked up there too. Has Luis Ortiz beaten anybody in the top 10? Top 15? Top 20? Top 30? No. Has Tyson Fury beaten anybody that's ranked that high within the WBC? So first of Ferry, Pianetta, Tom Schwartz? No, not one of them is ranked even in what the top 30 of the WBC. So this is all about principles. Whether you want to see the fight or not, this is principles. And this is why they are saying, we want Wilder next. If I beat Oscar Rivas, I want Wilder next. Now, I don't know if that includes Wilder versus Ortiz, I don't know if they're going to insist on Luis Ortiz's fight being postponed or not happening. I don't know about that part. But they're definitely, definitely looking at Tyson Fury fight not happening before he gets his world title shot. Listen, if Wilder fights Dillian White and beats Dillian White, a number of things are going to happen. First of all, his profile is going to go through the roof. And, and it makes a fight with Tyson Fury that much bigger. But can he beat Dillian White? Personally, he can beat him, but will he beat him? I personally feel no. I think that uh, Dillian White will be, is all wrong for Tyson Fury, uh, for um, Deontay Wilder. I've been standing for quite some time that I think that uh, Dillian White will bully Wilder. He will intimidate him and he will catch him and knock him out. Wilder will go face down, ass up. That's my honest opinion of it. Whatever yours is, is, is whatever it is. Everyone's entitled to their opinions as to how that fight is going to go. Uh, but ultimately, we don't know until we see it. We don't know how it's going to go, but fact is he deserves a world title shot. And Eddie Hearn confirming that they will be suing the WBC if he does not get a world title shot within a timely manner. Which is why they haven't officially accepted the mandatory position yet, because it ain't just the mandatory they want. They want Wilder next. Dominic Brazil should never have leapfrogged um, Dylan White. Luis Ortiz certainly shouldn't be getting another world title shot. Tyson Fury had his opportunity for a rematch didn't do it, and so on. So why is it that Dylan White is going to be held back? Why is he going to be frozen out? Because the WBC will allow this. Now, all of this will come back round as karma to haunt Wilder. Because when Wilder is just refusing to give Dylan White a fight, Dylan White even offered him $8 million. $8 million. And this is when Wilder was earning less than $1.5 million per fight. He offered him $8 million and Wilder still said no. Why? Personally, I think it's because he's afraid of Dillian White. That's my honest uh, feeling on it. In addition to the fact he doesn't want to be fighting on an Eddie Hearn show. But karma will come back to bite him because if Dillian White is made the mandatory and that mandatory is enforced, yes, the splits will be 70-30 in Wilder's favour. It's not about the money, but there will be no rematch. A mandatory does not have to sign for a rematch. So Dillian White, he gets Wilder, he beats Wilder, he's holding on to that belt, and now he can freeze Wilder out as revenge. You say, well, this is what you did to me. Why would I give you a voluntary? It ain't going to happen. You want this world title shot, then the WBC are going to have to make you mandatory. You're now going to have to go jumping through hoops like I had to to get a world title shot. And then maybe once you're mandatory and the mandatory is called, yes, you will get a world title shot. But until then... Sit on the fence. 
and wait your turn. Will the WBC allow that? No, probably not. The WBC was like, whoa, Wilder, he's been champion for X amount of time. He should be entitled to a rematch. Well, your boy should have given Dylan White involuntary. And because he didn't, because he tried to freeze him out, Dylan White beats Deontay Wilder. No rematch. All of it come back to Horner. It really will. So anyway, I mean, that's why Dylan White and Eddie Hearn will sue the WBC to say, listen, you cannot allow all these people to jump ahead of me. I cannot be number one for this amount of time, which nobody has ever in the history of boxing ever, ever been 600 days and counting and not had a world title shot. So I want that world title shot next. Next. That will be my next fight after Oscar Rivas. But first things first, you have to make sure that he doesn't overlook Oscar Rivas. We've seen slip-ups happen, Andrew Ruiz, Joshua and that, of course, and plenty of other ones. Dylan White needs to get the win in this one. Doesn't matter how he gets the win, doesn't matter whether it's a fantastic highlight reel knockout, whether it's a points decision, but he, but he has to make sure that he's winning that fight and he gets the victory, no matter how it happens, and then he gets Wilder next. So everybody, everybody needs to support Dylan White, go at the WBC to insist that Dylan White fights Deontay Wilder next, whether that's before Lewis Ortiz or after. Not really the point, but has to be ahead of Tyson Fury. Yes, plenty of people want to see the Tyson Fury rematch. I do too. But Dillian White does deserve it. Even Tyson Fury says Dillian White is the most deserving boxer right now who deserves a world title shot at Deontay Wilder. So anyway, you'll drop your thoughts below about it. Click thumbs up and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.